All right, I just want to do a quick video. Sometimes we recommend control arms and ball joints. And we have a lot of customers saying that we're trying to rip them off by recommending them. So I'll let you guys know, show you why we recommend ball joints and control arms. So you have two bushings here that uh, connect the control arm to the chassis. A lot of times these wear out and then you have what's called a ball joint, which is down here. It's hard to see. You see how it's separated right there. It's not supposed to be separated like that. Um, that's a ball joint that's separated. When that happens, the whole, I can actually show you a picture of what happens. Uh, that's my kids. Okay. So you see that right there, your whole, um, tire will lean in on one side. Yeah, see that? And look at the tire. You see? It did all kinds of damage. Um, did all kinds of damage. It pulled out the axle. You see the axle right there? It pulled it out. So it's going to need a new axle. It's going to need a new knuckle. Uh, it's going to have to go to the body shop and get the fenders, the bumper fixed. Let me show you guys something. Customers just bought this car from a car lot. Obviously, we won't disclose where, but they just bought this less than 30 days ago. And um, either somebody didn't put a cotter pin to secure that control arm to the ball joint, or it's a ball joint popped out. Um, and just a mechanical part, no, no body part, but just mechanical. She's looking at about $3,500 worth of damages, plus whatever it costs to get this bumper and this fender replace. So, you know, I can re I can recall several instances where we've had one time where a customer says that um, we're ripping people off because we're recommending control arms that they never go back. Well, no, that's just completely not the case. We're keeping you guys from having to um, replace or go into this situation now. Just imagine, we're just talking about damages as for the fact, but just imagine what happens if you're going down the road or freeway 70 miles an hour and this happens to your car. You will go be going straight, but then one wheel will go, go left or right, or in this situation, will just fall flat. Um, it not only is it dangerous to you, but others around you. So the main thing we try to do, and we're a busy shop, you know, and I tell this to people all the time, it's like, man, Yes, we're a business and yes, you know, we we make money when we work on cars, but we are just playing with cars. Every day is full. And um, it's just, we don't need to, uh, we just don't have the need to, you know, upsell something that you guys don't need to get business. I mean, we're just blown out as it is. We, I think we're one of the busiest shops in this area and we like to stay that way by, you know, recommending honest work and doing honest work. And we care about everyone there. And all the parts we look at, we look at it in uh, in terms of safety. And just wanted to throw that out there. Please, you know, if a shop or if we recommend control arms, this is the reason why. This is the reason why. We don't want this to happen to you. This is going to be a scary, scary situation. Um, this customer is not only have a huge repair bill, body shop bill, but also going to be out of a car for a while. So just wanted to share that with you.